Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to another scripting video, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the user input service. So anyways guys, without any more stalling, let's begin. Alright, so for this one I'm going to add a script into starter character scripts. I'm going to make it a local script because it's local to the player that's using it. So up here for starters, what we're going to have to do is define a user uh, input service var variable. So we're just going to do uh, local uis is equal to game colon. Get service and then I want user input service. It's right here. Uh, second one down. Then once we've done that, what we can do, we're going to create a little player variable so we can get the player's um, player if we need to. So I'm just going to do local player is equal to game uh, oh, game dot players dot local player. Okay, so now I have the user input service and I also have the player. So how the user input service works is that it detects when a player presses a key, a select key that you could select in the script. Uh, what key it is and you can act on that say you can make the player run faster you can open a GUI you can do a lot of things with this but I'm just going to give you one uh, short example and we're just going to print out that the key that the player has pressed so first of all we need to get um, a user input service event so what we can do is UIS dot Input began. That's the uh, that's the built-in function. <coughs> that's the built-in signal for when the player um, puts a key in or presses the mouse button or something like that. So I just click enter, and then colon connect function input. So now we're getting whatever their input is, whatever um, key that they've put in. We're passing as the parameter. And then drop a line. Do if input and input dot key code. So we're checking what key it is. Equals equals because it's um, because it's conditional. And then do enum dot key code dot and whatever key you want. I'm just going to go with tab for now. And then then drop a line. And now we have our function set up so that when the player presses the tab key. Uh, this code in here, the code in here, will run. So now we, I'm just gonna, just for starters, I'm just gonna put print um, player dot name dot dot. Uh, I'm concatenating has pressed the tab key. Okay. So if we click play now, and we um, take a look down here my uh, input as you can see when I press the tab key it goes up by one okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to kick the player out of the game if they press uh, a certain key I know you probably won't want to use this very often but it's gonna be funny anyway so we can do player colon kick you pressed tab lock okay so now if we click play what's going to happen when I press tab is I'm going to get kicked out of the game so I press tab and I'm gone alright so let's make it if the player is holding down uh, the tab key and we want to check if it's being constantly held down so what we can do is we need to add a new variable so we can do local key is pressed equals false so for starters key is pressed is equal to false and what we can do in here is well no. what we can do in here is is key Key is pressed equals true. 
and while this is an infinite loop um, while key is pressed do wait uh, 0 0.3 seconds I believe it is and what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to print uh, player dot name dot dot has pressed the tab key uh, you'll know what this is this is uh, concatenating if you see my concatenating video I'm just basically bringing these two values together this is a while um, do loop and yeah. yeah so next we next we need to check if the player lets go of the key and we need to stop the while true do loop so what we can do is instead of input began we're going to use the input uh, ended so we can do uis uh, dot input c as you can see input ended and now we're just going to use that to you know come on connect function input drop a line we'll do if input um, and input dot kiko is equal equals equals <laughs> in um so when you, there's just those days when you can't type um <clears throat> uh key key code dot tab so we're checking if it's the correct key then is key is pressed equals false so now the script that we've got here is so <clears throat> local UIS is we've gotten the user input service local player is we've gotten the players um, the local player the person that's uh, interacting with the game we've got a little variable here that we can use just to check if the player is holding the key down or not so UIS dot input began on connect function input we're passing the parameter we've got if the input so we're just checking that there isn't a false input and then we're also checking if the input is the correct um, tab which is the, the correct key which happens to be tab in this case remember this can be any key on the keyboard that you want I've just selected tab for the sake of the video so after that we've just done key is pressed equals true so that down here at the while loop it knows that the key is pressed is true so then it can print out player the player's name has pressed the tab key I might actually put is holding the tab key because that's actually what they're doing and while they're holding the tab key down this is going to run uis.input ended colon connect function input and we're just checking if again that there is in fact input <coughs> and that input uh, dot key code um, is equal to tab so we're checking if these two match all right we're checking if these two match so we don't because we don't want the player to click a and to still run this code because the player might want to click a and tab at the same time so that's why we're checking over here and then after that we're just doing key is pressed is equal to false so if we just click play now and if I click tab as you can see it printed it three times and if I hold down the tab key as you can see it's skyrocketing up because I'm holding it down I let it go and it stops okay so now I'd like to mention that I have a discord server dedicated to Roblox scripting and helping you guys learn to script I'll uh, throw a picture of it up on the screen here and um, yeah but other than that thank you guys so very much for watching like and subscribe all that good stuff we're almost close to, we're close to 100 subscribers so thank you guys for that i'll be doing a hundred subscriber special i'm not sure what it is yet but we'll find out anyways thank you guys so very much for watching see you next time